Hello everyone! I am Olive Blade and welcome to my wonderland. Today we have what I'd like to call a petite unboxing. That's right, we're having a look at three gorgeous prize figures. Unboxing them and having a look at their quality and charm. One may be already unboxed, as I did not receive a box. However, if you had seen my previous haul video, you'll know that both of these are gifts from separate lovely people that I know. And I actually recorded my first reaction and it went a bit like this. Oh my god. God, she is gorgeous. Oh my, look where I am found myself a cheerleader. She'll be right here when I need her. <laughs> so then, I'll start by showing you this ReZero Rem Precious Figure Original Cheerleader version by Taito. So the figure comes apart in four pieces, which you have to put together. The base, the main body, and of course, the two pom-poms. <laughs> Trying to focus on that hand please let me focus okay and it looks really funny without the pom-pom on it so we're gonna slip those on which are pretty easy or at least the first one i really love the gold so this comes in a few different versions with different colors and also a few different face expressions as well but i absolutely love this version that my friend chose for me and gold is my favorite color so Perfect for the pom-poms, it just, I love the paint that they've used for that. Now, with three pieces together, we have to put on the next one, which is a bit, oh, I, taking this off, I thought I was going to break it. Oh, I got it on. Oh, I guess potentially you could use a heat gun or gently heat it up in some water, then dry it and put it in for a snug fit. That's easier to put in without breaking, but... I was impatient. We're anyway, having a look, closer look at the face. I love the expression and the hair especially. Oh, the cute shoes. I have to admit the paint job looks a little fuzzy. And I don't know, I would look, would have liked another different colour for the base of the shoe perhaps. But I still like that they have the detail there as well. I think she's absolutely stunning. And the pose is just, oh, it's gorgeous. So dynamic. Oh, I love it so much. Now then, let's start on one of the boxes. The first one is the Bang Dream Girls Band Party, Matake Ran, PM Figure, School Days by Sega. Cutting it open. And... As you see, I am trying to do the box trick where you put your Stanley knife underneath. And though, as you probably saw in my past videos, I am pretty good at this, you do have days where it does not want to do it properly. And even though I want to try to lift the lid without bending the box, I end up having to do it a little. Oh, no, I actually eventually got it. I thought I'd ruined it a little bit. Oh, well. Well done, you finally got it. How graceful is that? So satisfying. Mm. <laughs> Critical of myself. Now then, oh, she slips out like that. And like most prize figures, she comes in cardboard and plastic. And the box is triple her size. Her base is taped on the outside. We'll just pull that out and have a look. And I think it's really cute. You've got a clear bass and you've got music notes with school days on it. I actually quite love the bass, especially for this type of figure. Da -da -da -da. She slides right out. There she is. Take her out of the suffocating bag and let's have a look at her. Her face is a little shiny, but nothing that a nice soap in some soapy warm water will fix. How cute is her school uniform? And I love the high socks and the classic shoes. Her eyes are so pretty and I love the little dyed red streak. Mm. So cute. Now then, <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm having a little bit of bad luck with this figure. Trying to get this in the base, I thought I had issues with rim. How wrong was I? Now, I probably would recommend doing the same trick if you're a bit fearsome of breaking it, but I still thought I could get it in. So, after trying, as you can see there, 
I got it in. I had to stretch the legs apart a little bit gently and get them in the holes. Getting them in the holes probably were the tricky part. Now then, she's put together and we'll get her best friend, Maka-chan! And if you do not know already, Maka-chan is my favourite character from this franchise. Cutting it open. So I'm super excited to finally have a figure of her. Oh no! Buckskin! No! I'm failing. I cut into it. No, it's not perfect anymore. And I couldn't do it the same there. Oh, I'm bending it. Oh, tragic. Tragic. Don't worry, I'm not that worried about the box, but I can't help but make fun of it because for particular collectors that will be like, I murder. <laughs> anyway, let's get her out. Not that it is much of a difference, but her base is inside packed with her. Hello, Mokka-chan. She is so cute. I love her expression. Don't worry, we'll get you some sweet buns. <laughs> and she is also sporting the same school uniform as Ran. Damn it, they're a band of five and I'm going to have to get the rest now. Unlike the others, she fit on the base actually quite easily. I'm impressed. Heart attack avoided. Since you've all just viewed the appetizers, now we'll move on to the main course and slideshow of this feast. three ideas of the first prize figures I have shown on this channel and I'm not sure if I want to review them the same way as I do the scale figures because they are a different price range and quality. However, if you would like me to do the full My Figure collection figure reviews like I do with my scales with prize figures, let me know. Otherwise, in the meantime, I will give my final thoughts on these and a rating out of 10. Starting with the Ban Girls. So Mocha and Ran, what I think they do really well with these two figures is the poses. And I do love the school uniforms, even though if I could get their original outfits, oh, I love that, especially Mocha's, which is like a cool hoodie, knee-high boot combo that would just... I would love that, but with the two figures here, I do still love them very much. The paint job is done pretty well. I do have a few imperfect spots, such as blaring at the top of the socks, 
and a little paint scrape mark but apart from that the paint job is pretty clean and the eye decals are just stunning i love them so much i really love the eye designs in this mobile game the posing would get full marks just love the poses and expressions as well now the thing that does annoy me a little bit are the sculpt scenes and i know it's because it is a lower graded figure because price figure more affordable and also for crane games but the one little thing that just annoys me is that as it is very prominent on the hair and also the hands but overall i would give them a high mark so i'd give them eight out of ten each and if you love these characters i would definitely recommend them for your collection now moving on to this precious rem oh i just have to start with the face the face oh the expression is priceless, she is so cute, and I love the decals, the blush, her open mouth doesn't look freaky at all, which is, <laughs> that is the charm of the open mouth. It can look really weird. Now then, her hair is semi-see-through, and I love it when they do this, it just adds a lightness and extra detail to it. Even though they have one solid colour, it gives it a different light variant. Now the posing Ah, oh, all these figures have such lovely poses. I love this dynamic pose. And you've got the flowing dress as well. And the cute outfit. The paint job is pretty cleanly done, though the shoes are a little bit blurry at the edges if I want to be a bit particular. And I'm not sure if I'd like a colour on the base of the shoe just to show that detail and make it look a bit more, you know, a little bit more detailed realistic. I do love that they've textured her clothes and it does help hide the seams as well. There's visible seams, but I think they're pretty well hidden on this figure. And yeah, she is made a bit later than these other two figures, so hence the quality is probably improved. <laughs> so overall, I'll have to give her a 9 out of 10. They are just so precious, all these characters. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, so you don't miss out on any of my future unboxings. I wonder what I'm going to unbox next week. Hmm. <laughs> Take care until I see you next week. Same time, same day. Live every day as if it were your last. And I'll catch you later. Bye.